when you are on the road and you see these giant fifth wheels or camping trailers, they all look the same. They're all big white boxes. I don't think bigger is necessarily better. I had first heard about teardrop trailers. I started looking around for a small trailer that my Dodge Neon could pull. I saw teardrop trailers online. I'd never heard of them or never seen them before and was completely enamored with them. It's not only teardrop shaped, so it's more aerodynamic for going down the road, but because the way they were designed, your bed goes into the kitchen. So here's the foot of the bed, and where I'm putting my feet now is actually the cabinet area of the kitchen, or the galley. When you camp in a teardrop trailer, you really have to look at what you're bringing with you. This is five feet wide, eight feet long. The back of a teardrop is called a galley, and what we have in the back is our stove, which we just put under here, and then when we want to cook, we just either pull it out and cook back here, or we just put it on a picnic table and cook. Uh, up on the top, we've got some cups. And I really have to scrutinize after every season and go, oh, did we use this at all? Are we going to use it again? So I don't have, want to have to worry a lot about what's in the teardrop and if we're going to lose something. Even though this cabinet's about the size of a very large bread box, I can hold clothes that for at least two weeks. I can really only bring two pairs of pants. When we go camping and I bring so really all I need is whatever clothes I need in this tiny little bread box closet. But that's my side and I just keep it packed all the time for any kind of weather. Um, it, it's actually really nice to know that I have what I need if it gets cold or if it gets hot. And I can actually think of all the clothes that I have in my little closet. I will sometimes keep a puffy vest just kind of tucked here behind my pillow. And then underneath my pillow, I'll sometimes keep like a little extra blanket for sitting by the fire or something like that. I think I've always been attracted to small spaces. Up here is our toiletries. When I was a child, I would build my own tree houses or little forts in bushes. And I think this kind of dollhouse feel is just kind of stuck with me throughout my whole life. And then this is my husband's area. Most campers, I think who camp in a tent, look at teardrops as, oh, luxury. My husband and I, we backpacked and tent camped for years, but I just never, ever slept well in a tent. So we've just woken up and I don't want to leave because it's really cold out. <laughs> but it's so soft and warm in here. What's wonderful about this teardrop is just the view framed by our bedroom windows. Each time has been incredible, just waking up in the morning and opening up the door and just having that fresh air come in while you're still lying in bed warm. And just look out at the trees and... Is pretty incredible actually. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Typical RVers kind of look down on it like a little, almost like a bug that needs to be squashed. <laughs> they think, oh gosh, how can you sleep in that coffin? That's ridiculous. Where do you put all your stuff? My teardrop trailer is 40 square feet. And is it enough space? I don't think you really need that much for space for camping because you have the entire outdoors. I know a few people that actually live in their teardrop. Of course, it helps if it's good weather um, to live inside a teardrop, um, but they think it's enough space, and the outside, the outdoors, is the rest of their house. Oh yeah, this is our shower. <laughs> We've been camping before in a Winnebago style trailer and what we didn't like is that we were stuck inside cooking and that we were stuck inside eating and we wanted to be outside. 
What you making? Shepherd's pie. What's this magical container that you're cooking in? <laughs> it's called a Dutch oven. I've never, how does it cook it? With coals. Coals from the fire. Where One of our favorite things about camping in a teardrop is that we are pretty much always outdoors. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, almost. Pizza's, pizza's coming. Pizza's coming. Okay. The lost Needs art of Needs Dutch oven heat. cooking. Needs more heat. The weather's nice. You can cook outside. You can eat outside. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Oh, oh, that looks pretty damn good. That's pretty done. Who else gets to have pizza when they're camping? Some comments that I've gotten about teardrop trailers is that some people feel that they would be claustrophobic in such a small space. But I actually, with the with the big windows and the big doors, I don't feel claustrophobic at all. In fact, it, the teardrop sleeping in it kind of feels like a comfortable, warm hug because it's it's close around you. It's not a big space. It's cozy, it's comfortable, we have everything we need in here. It's really, it's nice because it's only for two people. So it's kind of romantic too, because we can just cuddle up in here and warm ourselves. It's actually pretty warm in here, surprisingly. My husband wants to retire in a few years, um, maybe about four or five years, and we've thought about going full time in a teardrop trailer and camping around the U.S which is a big dream for us. I think we could do some winter camping. I think we'd be fine, except in the middle of the night. It's also really comforting and nice to know that we can pack up this trailer and we have the basic necessities that we need. Um, this is under the bed, so it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to because we pull up the mattress. What we carry around in the teardrop. It's probably around 100 things or so. I've realized that when we're camping, we have four plates, because we sometimes have two friends with us. So one, each person gets one plate, each person gets one cup. I, I realized that it's, that's kind of really all you need. One person really only needs one plate and one cup and a fork and a spoon and a knife, and that's what we have. So when I come home, I'm like, why do we have six or seven, eight plates? It's not necessary. Kind of a chilly day and it's been a long week so I'm kind of tired so I'm actually like lying in here today it's kind of one of the only times that I've been able to get a little bit of peace and quiet so I'm actually thinking about closing the door and maybe taking a little nap and just looking out the window I've actually used the teardrop as a meditation space a reading area and we've actually even used it as extra sleeping space for when we have <laughs> we have guests over. I'll actually come in here in the winter because it's protected from the wind but the sun still comes in so it actually can get heated up in here by the sun and then you're away from the cold winter winds. This is actually a small heater that we can plug into the 12 volt and it will heat up the teardrop in about 10 minutes or so. Underneath the drawer is where we have our pots and pans and the battery. This runs the light for the inside and the 12 volt plugs that are inside. And on the side. I just love camping vehicles in general um, just because they're like, they are like little houses on wheels. They're temporary houses on wheels but just the way they're designed and the way they're space planned and the way that you feel when you sit inside of them you know that you're camping and you're out in the wild and you are experiencing the outdoors I don't think it matters if it's a teardrop trailer or an airstream or whatever it is it can be any kind of small camping trailer but it kind of gives you this feeling of Adventure. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. It's okay. 
I think that if you are thinking of living in a tiny space, the minimum amount of space that you need to live is really going to depend on the person. I'm kind of a big girl, I'm almost six feet tall, and even my feet hit the end of the teardrop trailer bed. So I have never seen a deer, a full grown deer, like this close outside of a petty zoo or something. Yeah, me neither. Some tiny houses I've been in, I feel very comfortable and almost like a hug, but other ones I feel totally claustrophobic in. Wanna check it out? Oh, where are you going? <laughs> but yeah, I can envision living in a teardrop. I don't really need anything more than that.